There we go. Wait, can you hear me? I sure can. Okay, awesome. I usually turn my iPad uh, uh, volume all the way down, so I wanted to make sure that was up. Gotcha. gotcha, right on. Thank you so much for taking the time. How are you? Hey, likewise. I'm doing great. How yes. are you? Awesome. Very, very well. I'm here in San Diego and just wanted to reach out, introduce myself, and, and just see if I could bring some value to what you're doing here on social media to build your real estate business. Yeah, I appreciate that. You had great reviews. Yes. And like, so I just wanted to note something, though, that, yeah. um, I, you know, I am definitely curious on how to do that. But I, I wanted to, you know, I, I read the reviews, but I wasn't able to actually find those people's pages to see, okay, what did they increase their like to? Like, I, I mean, I know that the, the review was, huh? Are you serious? Yeah, let's click on them. Yeah, a little yeah. like it will take it to their personal page, not their actual business page, because they're oh, yeah. reviewing you personally. What you got to do is you have to, well, here's the deal. Out of, I've been doing this for a very long time. Well, I've just been in the field of marketing and, and online advertising for the past 20 years. And then I was a lender in the mortgage industry from 2010 to 2016. But I've been helping real estate agents on this exact, exact topic since 2016. So these last 70, I didn't, I didn't start really asking for reviews until maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe six, seven months ago. Um, and now that's the last 70 people. But out of the 70 people, I would say 90, 99% of them are actual clients. So for example, Katrina, like if I go to Katrina's page, this is her business page right here. So that's why on yours, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of give you some context of where my ideas are really coming from and where my strategy is. It's not because of my extensive marketing background. It's not just that. I've been seeing what you guys have been doing by the thousands. Like I literally see what thousands of agents do. So right. you have your perspective. You're on a team. You have your broker. You have other, other agents that you probably, you know, um, communicate with and, 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 and work with. That's just a handful. I'm seeing what you guys are doing by the thousands, and I'll show you how I see that. But over here, that's why I couldn't find your business page because 99, actually 100%, 100% of agents, their intro looks like this. So if I click on this, I end up going to your broker's page. Right, not my find. actual business, okay. Yeah, so, yep. so, so I'll show you all these reviews. This is her business page right there. So if you click on her business page, and you come over to her business page, you just scroll down just a bit. Where's the, um, the actual, let's see, let's go down. Where's her actual like? Oh, I, I think it's right. Oh, I think it might be where the about is. No, that's really weird. It's always right here to the right. Let's click on yeah, it. It usually one. is. That's weird. That's, that's weird. Let's click on another one, but she's, she's someone that skyrocketed her likes as well. But let me show you another one, Leah. So if I come to Leah's page, um, she should have her business page right there, but that's actually her brokers. Let's go to a different one, but every single one of them is an agent. Let's go to um, Kimberly. Here's Kimberly's. See, I don't know why she doesn't have her. And that's what uh -huh. I call step one. All of you guys are missing by putting your brokers right. in, and not, yeah. and not that yours. That makes sense. That, that's a great I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean for sure. But let me, and then also Candy, here's, here's one right here. This is her bro. This is her actual link. This is an ad that I have running right now with her. This is her like count. But okay. Let me go back to the actual, I want to show you someone over here. Even Lauren, let's click on Lauren. So we kind of Lauren, there's her business page. We click on her business page and we just scroll down just a bit. There's her like count. Okay. So you can go through all of them and they're all, they're all on there. They're all real estate agents. I don't know why we couldn't find uh, Katrina's, but let me click on one more. There's Lauren, Angela, um, Lizette, Anne Marie. Like if I click on Anne Marie, there's her business page link. Click on that. Come over to her business page. Scroll down just a bit. There's her like count. So all I've been doing, to tell you the truth, Becky, is just, is just consulting. So since 2016, 
um, I left mortgages in 2016 and started helping real estate agents. And only because as I was a lender, as I'm working with real estate agents, as I'm, you know, doing their deals and closing deals with them, mm -hmm. I just knew that the majority of them were missing the basics when it came to social media marketing. So I'm a mortgage guy. I'm over here working with agents. I'm looking at their marketing just because it's just in the back of my head. And so at, in 2016, I get sick and tired. Here's Keisha. I get sick and tired of mortgages. And so I leave in 2016 to start helping real estate agents to start helping agents with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising that happened in 2016. And so in 2016, because I knew marketing, I knew that I had to get to you guys somehow, some way, like, how was I going to even reach out to you guys? Like I wasn't going to cold call. I wasn't going to door knock. I'm out here in San Diego. There's a real estate office on every corner. Like I wasn't going to door knock. Like I wasn't going to um, even reach out to my existing network. I didn't want to hit up, you know, past agents that I worked with and said, Hey, you know, John, I did your mortgage for your client. You want me to do your marketing now? Like I didn't want to be that guy. So in 2016, I literally started kicking off all of my real friends, my in-laws, my brother, my cousins, like my actual friends. I started messaging them and saying, hey, cousin, I'm taking you off of my personal page. I'm going to add you on my Instagram. Follow me there. Because my whole intention, my strategy was to fill up my 5,000 friends with all agents. That okay. happened in 2016. So to this day, if you go to my friend list, Becky, every single one of them, like I'm not exaggerating, out of 4994, 4993 are agents. Wow. So, What's the one? <laughs> good question. No one's ever asked that. <laughs> Who's the one? I, I always end up having to tell them who the one is. The one <laughs> is my wife, and that's this one right here, Melina. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so she's the only one on this entire friend list, and you can look at it as a public list. But the reason why I tell you that is because, as I just mentioned a couple minutes ago, I've been literally seeing what thousands of agents are doing when it comes to marketing their business on social media. That happened in 2016. So I knew I wanted to help you guys, but I didn't know that it was really the basic, basic, basics that everybody started, that's every, that, that everybody's missing. And I didn't realize that until about 2018. I knew that every agent was coming on a social media to obviously build their business, to find that next buyer, to find that next seller. That's obvious. But as I started following thousands of agents, I'm like, wait a minute, you guys are missing the basics. Like, and, and, and I'm going to show you what these basics are. But it was, it was a light bulb that went on for me. And so in 2018, I ended up writing a book about this. Um, it's called The Social Real Estate Agent, Five Steps to Implement on Social Media to Capture More Leads and Build Your Personal Brand Fast. That's an ebook that I have out, thesocialrealestateagent.com. But it talks about these basic five steps. Step one, branding. Step two, your likes. Step three, lead capture. Step four, a web page. Step five, email automation. And so all I've been doing since 2016 is consulting on these five basic steps and, and helping real estate agents turn their business around, but not pitching you guys, not trying to, you know, convince you on some new marketing plan. Like, no, none of that. It's just basics. Like this is stuff you can do yourself. And so as a result, I've been asking for reviews and then I've been leveraging those reviews to even help other agents with, with more extensive coaching and it helped me build a YouTube channel. So now I have a pretty big YouTube channel. So it's just helping people is what I've been doing. And then as a result, getting a ton of reviews. Um, That's all awesome. good but, for you. But it's like these basic steps is, and, and, and after, so, so here's the deal. Since 2016, I've literally helped hundreds. There, I mean, just the last 70 gave me a review, but I've helped hundreds to this day. I've spoken to thousands because you can't help everyone, right? right? I've spoken to thousands and I've literally seen tens of thousands of pages, real estate agents. So I'm just here to tell you nine out of 10 of you guys miss the basics. Like this is okay. basic, basic stuff. So all I'm going to do is spend maybe 15 minutes with you and share these basic steps. And you're going to be like, okay, man, let me implement that. Let me implement that. Let me implement that. Because I'm convinced after speaking to thousands of you guys that no one's really capturing the amount of leads at all, like at all, at all. Like I'm truly convinced that everybody's spinning their wheels 
and, and, and wanting to get more, but they're, they're not. And it's all because of social media. We think that we can come over here to social media and, 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 and all of a sudden we're going to get a ton of leads, but here's the reality. And, and, and I might as well start with step one. Here's sure. step one. When it comes to social media, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether we connected on LinkedIn, it does not matter. When it comes to social media, here's the reality. And it doesn't matter how many friends you have, whether you have a thousand, whether you have 5,000, it does not matter. In your case, you have 2,000. Mm -hmm. As you scale that number up, and you've already did, because to tell you the truth, you only, I mean, let's just keep it real. There's probably only 200 people that you actually know. Your, right. your in-laws, like there's only about 200. The other 1,800, you don't know. They're people like me who you do not know. Right. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're building a business. And so we, we, we automatically assume that we need thousands of people on our, connected with us. And that's the most logical way to think if we're an entrepreneur. Of course, we want everyone. But here's the reality. You're a local business owner. So I would be telling the same thing. It'd be the same exact strategy for the local plumber, for the local chiropractor, the local dentist. Because you're a local business owner, here's the reality about social media. As we take that 2,000 to 4,000 to 5,000, as you take your Instagram followers from wherever they're at to 20,000 followers on IG, 99% of them are not going to know you and 99% of them are not going to live in your area. 99% of them will never be moving to your area. And that's a fact. So that's why organic, it's, it's, it's for a local business owner, there's no such thing as it. And that's why no one's capturing leads because we're posting when 99% of the 2000 don't even live in the area. They right. don't even care, you know, and that's why no one's engaging. That's why no one's clicking like, because it's not that they don't like you. It's just, it's irrelevant to them because they're not in the area. Right. And they'll never be. So that's why when it comes to this, here's, but, but at the same time, we're building a business and our branding is everything. So here's step one. As I've seen thousands of pages, I go to their page, whether it's their personal page or the business page, it's the same thing. But the personal page is so important. It's much more important. The business page is only important, and this is a fact, 100% fact. The business page is only important and it's only necessary if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, you don't even need a business page at all keep everything on this personal page because this is where you're connecting with everybody anyways. And so the two types of people that consist of the 2000, number one are people that you actually know, obviously, but then also people that you don't know. So even if I met you locally, let's say for example, my wife and I, we were at dinner, you guys were at dinner and we just randomly bump into each other. I don't know you never seen you before, but I live five miles away. We come to this restaurant, you know, quite often, but we've never met. If we end up just striking a random conversation, because I would assume you're somewhat outgoing because you're a networker, you're an entrepreneur, you're building a business. Let's say we just randomly strike up a conversation. You would eventually bring up real estate. You would eventually give me a business card because that's what you do. You network. And, and, and you would, you would have, you would have, you would have for sure mentioned something about keeping in touch because you do real estate. You and I don't know each other, but I live down the street. When I connect with you on Facebook, I still don't know anything about Becky. So that's one type of person, one person that you're gonna meet locally, but you never met before. You connect with them here. The second person is gonna be a person like me, who just meets you virtually, where we connect on Facebook, we connect on Instagram, we connect on LinkedIn, but we don't know who the hell each other are. That's mm -hmm. the second type of person. So here's the deal. Here's step one. As I come to your page, it's critical, the information that you're showing me. Like I can look at images and be like automatic. Like I look at the image and I'm like, damn, cool chick, outgoing, into, 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 into working out, wife. Like I can look at an image and, and, and assume a lot. But because you're building a business, there's information here that you got to be showing me. And, and I'm telling you, I see it by the thousands. And in real estate, branding is everything. And sure. over here, Social media branding is everything as well. So here's step one. I come across Becky's page and this is what she's showing me. Sales associate at, and here's another thing about, about this. As I mentioned, and, and I'll give you 10%, I'll say 90%. 90% of 2000 is still a crazy lot. Nine out of every 10 people. Let's say you know 10% of that 2000. 90% don't know you. As I mentioned, they're across the country, as I mentioned, but here's what also is, is true as well. 
if you're not recruiting, you're with KW, so maybe you are recruiting. If you're with EXP, maybe you are recruiting. But if your 2,000 friends are not realtors, they're not lenders, they're not title reps, they're not escrow officers, 90 plus percent are probably normal people that you're building a relationship with, that you're connecting with. And majority of the people are not in the business, therefore they don't know that this is not your page. So this whole time, the 2,000 people who have no clue about the business are clicking like over here, thinking they're right. supporting Becky, right? Gotcha. If I was an average person that worked at the mall, I would not know that that's not your page and I would have clicked like. Just because I want to support you, I'm a genuine person, I want to support you, I want to see what the heck Becky's up to. And so that's basic, that is step one. We don't want to drive any attention because that's the first impression. When I land here, this is the, your image, obviously, but this right here is right in my face. Right. So what I see right there is critical. And all we're doing is driving attention to your broker's link when we need to be driving attention to your link. So for example, sales associate, health and wellness, studied, went, lives, from, married, followed. That's what is showing in the intro. If I come to Candy's, let me show you, let me show you Candy's page. If I just go to her personal page, and this is the biggest difference. So I come across Candy, I come across Becky. I don't know either one of you, but I come across Candy and this is what she's showing me. So right away, I see a link to her business page. But most importantly, because we're now in this quote unquote social media world, right away, she's showing me Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, her website address. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look close, every single one of them is identical. Right. Basic branding. And I'm telling you, it's not just you. I see it by the thousands. 99% of agents miss this basic step. And this is what I call step one. So we're over here trying to post our listings and open houses and pitch how awesome we are as, as an agent, but we don't even have this basic step down. So when people come to your page, they're like, okay, who the heck is this chick? You know, she's right. sending me to this page, but is that really her page? You know, you know what I mean? So yeah, here's the thing. As we connect with people here, because I would assume that probably Facebook is where you most likely spend the majority of your time or maybe Instagram or maybe LinkedIn, but Facebook is King Kong. We're all here. So if Becky and David connect here, we connect here, but how does she know that David doesn't spend 77 hours a day on Twitter? Right? Right. I don't, don't, I don't know. know. That. You don't right. know that, right? But here's what you need to know now. So moving this, this from this point forward, here's all you need to know. It's not about just posting them because we're all of a sudden a social media butterfly and we're going to post every day on all these damn platforms. It's not about that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to convince you not to be posting all the time. I'm going to show you a different strategy. But like it's just about having them up. Like it's just about having them up. Like I need to know, I need people to know that I exist. All that is is credibility. All that is is social proof. All we're doing is letting people know, hey man, my brand is everywhere. Okay. That's what that tells me right away. And, 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 and so having them listed as an entrepreneur, all you need to know is where the audience is at. And the audience is on one of these five, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, or LinkedIn. You don't need to know one damn thing about any of them. You just have to have them active. You need to have them listed. And I would recommend matching everything. It just looks better for your brand. Give off one name and one name only. Sure. And, and so that's what I call step one. I go to everyone's page, nothing's there. I'm like, damn, you're, it's hurting your credibility. You know, so right, right away I see it in the intro. If I click about and I want to look further into who the heck Candy is, I see it again, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, because here's the reality. People today are going to follow you on social media. They're going to message you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. So right. it's not about putting our phone number anywhere because in real estate and when I was in mortgages, I would put my license number and phone number everywhere, right? Today on social media, don't put your number anywhere. Like take your phone number off. No one needs to know this phone number. Okay. The only way you get my damn number is if you message me on social media and you're serious, right? If that's a serious person, hey, I'm interested in buying, I'm interested in selling. Okay, cool. Call me. Here's my number. I message you that number. I don't post it everywhere. Post okay. your links everywhere. Okay. Post your links everywhere. So that's the personal page. And then, and, then, and then when you come to the business page, so over here on Candies, I click about and I come over to the business page. I scroll down. There we go again. 
hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge. And this is LinkedIn and Pinterest down here, but I don't know why the icon isn't showing, but there's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's um, her website. And, and, and even with KW, you guys have, a, have, have awesome tools. You have an awesome website. All I'm saying is get the .com. Don't brand the KW link, brand Becky's link. So when I click on Becky.com, I go straight to KW. That's fine. So you don't need a website. You just need to own the .com. Okay. And we want to match that .com with obviously everything we're, we're putting out. So one name, one name only. That's step one. Here's step two. Let me go to, let me pull up your, um, your business page. What's your business page? Um, it, I think it's just Becky Hayden Realtor. Okay. KW me, Realtor. Becky Hayden. Okay. Let's see if I can, if I can pull it up this way. Um, um, okay. Is it actually, no, it's not that one. Yep. First one. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, cool. So here is step two. Okay. So as I, as I mentioned, Becky, and do you mind if I call you B? I don't know why I always like saying the word like B. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. B. Here's the deal. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, I I've helped hundreds. I've spoken to thousands and I've looked at tens of thousands of business pages from real estate agents alone in this country since 2016. That's not an exaggeration. I've literally looked at tens of thousands. And the only why, the only reason why, it's not that I go and search business pages, no. The only reason why is because I have thousands of friends and every single one of them is an agent. So what every single one of them does is exactly what you did and you clicked invite to get these folks over here to like our business page. You're not the only one doing that. Every single agent does that. So because I have thousands of friends that are agents, every single one of them, here are my notifications. So just by default, Jody, Kimberly, Shelly, Linda, Selena, I can go on for days. Like every single agent in the country clicks invite. So what I do is I, I'll click on it. I'll come over to the page and I'm here to tell you, like really take my word for it because this is this is just this is this is knowledge okay i'm giving you real real knowledge and just what your what what the market consists of 99 percent of you guys have anywhere from 200 to 300 likes and okay. that's by me seeing tens of thousands so just like on the personal page this is the first impression what i see there is 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 that first impression in that intro on the business page that like count is the first impression so I come okay. across Shelly, I see 96. I come across Becky, I see 334. But as I said, 99% around two to 300. So that's what I'm already, the consumer is already programmed to see a couple hundred. Cause I'm, I, I've seen so many, I don't know how anyone cannot be already programmed. When, when they come to an agent's page, it's two to 300, no matter what. So when I come there, I see 300, 334. I don't know Becky, I don't know Shelly. I don't even know Candy. But when I come to Candy's page, I see 3,500. Now, for all I know, Candy just started. For all I know, Becky is a top producing agent with KW and has been that way for 25 years, for all I know. But on social media, no one knows you. So when I come across a page, and look at, look at this, no disrespect at all. I don't know Shelly. But, but, it, but, but I mean, I would, it's safe to assume that she's probably been in the business longer than you. Right. <laughs> right. Like just look, I mean, no disrespect, but she just looks right. obviously older than, than us for sure. So for all I know, this, this gal could be freaking number one and, and, and know more about all this crap than we do. She could be licensed for the past 30 years. It is safe to assume. And 96 likes just instantly discredits her instantly shoots down her credibility because I don't know yeah. her. Yep. So that's the first ad. Before we go into lead capture, before we next look for that next buyer or seller, this is what I call step two. I need to come to your page. I need to see a big like count because that's the only way. And it's not that consumers are looking for your likes. Like I'm not an average person that works at Home Depot. They're not looking for your likes. They're not trying to gauge you on that. It's just human nature. We land here and we see, okay, 96. I land here, I see 3,500. I'm just like, automatically, I just assume candy is better. Right. right. It's just perception. That's all that is. And so 
Step two is running a simple Facebook ad to take that number from where you're at, let's say, for example, from 300 to 3000 by literally Monday. Wow. That, 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 and it's a one-time ad. So that's not an ad you run all the time. It's not a lead capture ad. It's just to increase the likes. In fact, let me, I have candies up right here because I was working on the image. I was going to change it just to see if we can go a little higher. But when I started this ad, literally, what's today? Today's Friday. I started this ad last Thursday. So eight days, this is the eighth day. She had about 200 likes. Now we're at 3,500. We're going to go to about 4,000 and, that, and that's it. We shut it off. But here's the ad in real time. So as people are scrolling through the news feed, seeing what their friends are up to, these are all agents, these are all my friends, this is a real snapshot of the ad. I scroll through, scroll through, and there is the ad. So all I do is put a, a beautiful image of a home. Facebook provides the image, I'll write out the text, and I just simply helped her run it. That's a one-time ad. So in the last eight days, like all these people have obviously engaged, but it's not about clicking like here. Forget about that like. It's all about clicking this call to action button, liking the page. Right. And so that ad alone, and we, we, we've already passed you know, 3,000 in about seven days. But again, we're not going that much higher. I mean, she doesn't, we can shut it off now. I, I even advised her, I said, Candy, you don't need to go that, that high. Like every agent has 300. Like if, if we just went to 3,000, you're fine. If we went to two, if we just went to 2,000, you're fine. You know, so, but she's like kind of all out there. She's all, David, no, take it up to four. No questions asked. I said, okay, cool. I'll do it for you. But, and then, and then I just, you know, charged her a good review, but that's the first impression. That is step two. So that's what I advise you to do next is just simply run, run a like ad and, and take that number up a little higher on, on this like count right here. And just okay. let, that, let that number pop and seeing a comma in that number is what is obviously what makes it pop. So that's what I call step two. So now the about section, we have all of our links listed. Step two, we have a higher like count. See, so here's the KW link. Let's get rid of that one. And so this right here, the username, if you're gonna, if you're gonna run with this one, perfect. Yeah. All I'm saying is create all the other platforms around that one as well. Okay. And even get the dot com. Even get the dot com. So let, let's let's I did get the dot com, but it Perfect. had to be floral. So it's not exactly the same because I couldn't get just the ripped realtor. I had to, I think it's actually, I think it's without the, the, I couldn't get the ripped realtor because that was taken. So I don't know if that's going to make a big did, deal. Did but. you try changing it on your, on your Facebook page to see if it's available? Change it, match it. Okay. I yeah, could Matt, change this to your, to match your dot com. Okay. It should be, it should be. I love that. I love that. The ripped realtor or ripped realtor. How, how do you have it? How, how, what's the dot com? Just ripped realtor. Ripped realtor. I love that, yeah. man. I love that. Really, Thank really cool. You. Match everything, <laughs> match everything. And, and that alone, that one name, ripped realtor, we put that out into the world. People are going to know you. So, but how would I, I mean, I bought the dot com, but I didn't, it's not like I actually have a website that if you mm -hmm, type in mm -hmm. that, it'll go. So how would I link that to the one that I already have with KW? Did you buy it through, who'd you buy through, GoDaddy? Yes. Awesome. I'll show you right now. So let me log into my GoDaddy real quick. It's very, very simple. Super, super simple. So all you're going to do is let's go back to your link. So for example, here's the KW link, right? Right. Here's your, here's your K, and it's, it's actually, it's not this question mark because as, wherever that link is at, if a person clicks on it and it opens up, then all of that crap is going to show. So if it was Twitter that, and I clicked on your website on Twitter, all of these characters will show, but that's not part of the website. It's that, oh. that's your website right there, right? That's your right, yeah. site. Mm -hmm. So here's what you would do. So you would log in to GoDaddy. Let me log into mine real quick. Oh, actually, I'm already logged in. Okay, cool. So let's go to any any domain. Let's. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of domains that are not connected just yet. But you're gonna log in. Yeah, let's see this one. Yeah, this one I haven't. Yeah, I haven't connected this one to anything. So I'll I'll use this one as an example. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna log in. You're gonna go to your domain, and you're gonna click on. You'll either see use my domain or you'll see um, um, manage DNS but just go into the actual settings, just open up the domain. 
and then and then you'll see it because you haven't connected it you'll probably see it exactly like i'm seeing it okay so all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to forward to an existing web page oh if you get okay. stuck on this part you can always call godaddy and say hey man i got the domain i need to forward it to this site can you walk me through it GoDaddy will for sure do that over the phone with you, but I'm showing you right here, right now. So yeah. I click on that, I scroll down, and then right here is where I want to forward it to. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my KW link, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to simply paste it in right there, click on next, and that's it. Oh, wow. That's super so, simple. Okay. So now I can use, you know, riprealtor.com and post that everywhere. And when okay. they click on it, it goes straight to my KW site. Okay. Yeah. So that, that, that's super, super simple. And, and that's what you want to brand is, is that rip realtor.com. I love that name, man. That's really, really cool. <laughs> Thank you. Change everything else too. change the, change the email, change the email. And, and, and here's the deal too. You can also set up email forwarding. So because you have rip realtor.com, you can set up Becky at RippedRealtor.com, and whenever anyone's and and that's what we brand online. And whenever anyone emails that, it forwards to your KW. Ah, uh, okay. So I wouldn't have to have another actual email. I was no, like, I don't no. really want that. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. not at all. And and if you need to call GoDaddy on that one, because that one's just a couple more steps in the back okay. office, call GoDaddy and just say, Hey, I have a domain. I'm looking to set up Becky at RippedRealtor.com. And I want to forward it to my KW email. Okay. You tell them that exactly. They'll help you and they'll walk you through it. Don't let, don't let them set you up a new email because that's sometimes that's what, that's what they'll do. They'll set you up a new GoDaddy email. No, I don't want a GoDaddy email. I just need to simply forward it. Okay. Okay. So make sure they're, you're very, very you know, specific on forwarding and not setting up a new email. Okay. Okay. So yeah. And then, and then you can put Becky at riprealtor.com everywhere. That's your email. That's your new email. And then, and then to check your emails, you just check your KW like you do now. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, so step one, listen to those links. Step two, taking that like count up. And here's step three. I'm very, very, very anti social media posting only because we're local business owners. If you were not a local business owner, then blast social media posts everywhere on every platform 50 million times a day. But because you're local, and, and although you can help anyone, like you can help anyone relocate. Like my wife and I, like, where are you at? What state are you in? Are you in, where are you at? Florida. Again? You're in Florida. Okay. Mm -hmm. My wife and I are in California. If I reached out to and I said, B, we are moving to Texas. I know you're not licensed there, but you're my girl. I'm going through you. My wife and I, we're not going to work with anyone else. I want you to do the damn deal. Make it happen. You can easily broker that out. You can make your split. You can do, you can make it happen, but I'm not your ideal client. Like I'm right. not your ideal client at all. Your ideal client is in your backyard somewhere. Right. Someone looking to move to buy someone looking to maybe sell someone that lives down the street. That's your ideal client. That's why when it comes to social media, the 2,000 people, they all live across the country. If those were 2,000 on LinkedIn, they all live across the country. 2,000 on Instagram, they all live across the country. So why in the hell am I posting my listings everywhere when no one even cares? So step three is when you can start taking these posts and running Facebook ads directly to your backyard. The only people that need to know Becky are people who live next door. Those are the only people. Like I need to take my zip code and I need to run ads directly to that zip code and that only. And, and, and so step three is what I call a weekly ad. You need to be running a weekly ad to your local area. Either it's a listing you're running an ad on, either it's an open house you're running an ad on, or you're running an ad on giving away a free download, a free seller guide or a free buyer guide. That's okay. the bait. In this case, the bait is the listing. So if I run an ad on the listing, they're going to inquire because they're interested in the listing. That is bait. But if I don't have a listing and I don't have an open house coming up, I need bait and I need a, it's just like fishing. It's exactly like fishing. You don't just throw out a fishing pole with nothing on the lure, nothing on it. Like you got to have a lure, you got to have bait on that fishing pole or you ain't catching anything. It's the same thing with marketing. You have to give me something for free. 
You have to give me something of value. And in real estate, it's super simple to give away a free PDF, a free seller guide. So right. if you started doing weekly ads, let's say you're focused on, give me one, not, not both. I know you're jack of all trades. I know you can do everything in real estate, but if we had to focus on one, what is it? Is it buyers or sellers? Sellers. Okay, perfect. If we don't have a listing, if we don't have an open house, here's the weekly strategy for Becky. It's a weekly ad teaching people the process of selling. So if you're into video, which I highly encourage you to start doing video, this is super basic. This is super simple. This is not for social media world. This is for the people in our local backyard. If I were to pull out my cell phone, let's say, let's say I'm a realtor and, I, and I'm focused on listings. Here's the strategy. The strategy is to roll out a video every week. So every Friday, for example, a new video ad goes live. And that ad is targeting my backyard. And that is a two-minute video. I'm focused on sellers. I'm focused on listings. So my video content is going to start educating people on the process. Hey guys, this is David. Just wanted to give you a quick couple minutes on seven tips to help you increase the value of your home before deciding to sell. I know a lot of folks are selling this year. A lot of people are moving to different places, but I wanted to give you my tips on what would help you increase that value should you decide to sell. Tip number one, curb appeal. And you, and you go on for 60 seconds, Becky, and you talk about how important it is for a curb appeal. Mm -hmm. Tip number two, renovating your kitchen. Let me tell you guys what the importance is and how much more value we can get if you renovated that kitchen and made it look a little bit more nicer. If you took all the knowledge you have, Becky, and start putting it in short two-minute videos, that becomes your post, that becomes your video ad. And at the end of that video, it's one video per week for a month. So technically you're running one every day. A video that goes straight to your backyard. This is step three. Forget about posting on all these damn platforms. It's one post per week, which I'm running an ad on and I'm targeting my backyard. And that video is educating that person on the process of selling. And at the end of that two minute video, hey guys, and by the way, we have put together an amazing 2020 seller guide that I'm gonna give you guys for free. So if you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my page and, and this is where you'll have a one pager. And KW, you guys have landing pages. So you would put together a simple one page. They would click learn more. They would come to your one page. 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Yep, it's free. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan to getting started. Get my 10 tips here. So in your weekly video, all you're doing is educating me on the process of selling and giving me something of value for free. This mm -hmm. is an individual who is interested in selling or they would have never downloaded your PDF to begin with. This is an individual who lives four miles away. Mm. Okay. So, so, and here's the reality. You and your husband, if he were to take you out to dinner tonight, Becky, this is the truth, man. This is how crazy, crazy, stupid, simple, and how crazy, stupid, inexpensive this is and no one's doing it no one's doing it at all i see you guys by the thousands everyone's posting everything and and all i call that is throwing sp spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks that's yeah all, that's all anyone is doing so when you can narrow it in same post same everything but run the damn ad and so all i'm saying is that you and your husband if you guys were to go to dinner tonight this is the honest to god truth if you were, if your husband were to take you to dinner tonight, like I'm not talking a random restaurant, I'm talking about somewhat of a decent, nice restaurant. He's taking you out on a date. If he were to take you out to dinner tonight, he would spend more on dinner tonight than what you would spend running a Facebook ad for the entire week. So, yeah, but okay. So talk to me more about that though, because they ask you, you, you set the parameters, right? You know, they tell you how much you want to spend a day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what are you, what are you, what are you setting that at? If you were spending, let's just say, let put it this way. I could break it down $5 a day. I can break it down $10 a day. I'm telling you, I'm using the analogy of your husband taking you to dinner. If your husband took you to dinner, that dinner would spend, you, you would spend at least 60, 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. on a nice Let's, dinner sure let's say 100 bucks 100 bucks easy perfect yeah. <laughs> perfect perfect here's the deal i would have spent less if i rent it at ten dollars a day for seven days that's okay. one weekly ad but that's one week yes right yes so you do it again okay. next week 
Okay. So seven, so 70 times four, that's not much, Becky. That's not much. That's not much. If I got to cut Starbucks, if I have to cut going to dinner, sure, sure. if I have to have a part-time hustle, if I have to sell something on the weekend, I need a couple hundred bucks a month to run Facebook ads and target the people who matter. And those are people in my backyard. That's it, man. That is it. That's step three. Okay. Dang. So, so, so rather than posting ever, like I'm saying, like, for example, let's go back to, let's go back to, where's that? Um, let's go back to that listing. Where's that listing at? Um, Hold on. Here's where I would take them. So here, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is a weekly ad. So, so again, if we have a listing, that's our weekly ad. If we don't have a listing, I'm giving away a seller guide. Okay. So, yep. so I click on this. Let's this say that's an ad. Well, this is technically my MailChimp newsletter. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So in this case, this is, I mean, if I scroll down, scroll down, get my, get my app. So very, very similar. There, this, you're, you're, you're 99% there. This is perfect. So what I would have done differently though. Is if you click say, on that though, just FYI, if you click on the picture, it should take you to the listing. There you okay. go. So if I was running an ad, I'm paying to get people to see it. I'm getting people, I'm, I'm paying to get people to click. This is right. not where I'm taking them. So I'm not taking them here. So I'm going to dumb it down even more and, 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 and show you how more basic this really is. If I saw this and this was an ad, I click, you're taking me to even something more simpler, which is something like this. One page, one button, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points, view all 17 photos now straight to the point capture the lead before you take me to some overwhelming website with a million things to click on hmm. After okay you capture the lead send me the details then you can forward me to this overwhelming page where there's a bunch of stuff going on but don't take me here first entice me make me fill out the form first and so that's what i would have did differently and 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 and, and by doing it that click Boom, I come to one page, I enter my name and email, then you can show me everything else. Okay. This is an individual who lives down the street who's interested in this listing. So step four, step three is the weekly ad targeting your local area and your local area only. That's step three. Step four is the landing page. Don't take them to a full-blown website. Don't take them to your KW site at all. Take them to one web page. That's what I call step four. Step five is now that I have the email, your email autoresponder better be emailing automatically and nurturing that lead. So for example, if I opt in, I'll get an email right away. Hey Dave, this is Becky. Thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, I just wanted to introduce myself and tell you a little bit more about this, this property. Here are the details. Here are all the images. And by the way, Dave, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. That's an automated email that went out while Becky and her husband were at dinner. Tomorrow, another email goes out. That's what I call step five. Tomorrow, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Becky. I know you inquired yesterday on 77 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, guess what? This property is not going to last. I have a ton of people hitting me up. Everyone wants this property. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your, your private showing. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. Two days yeah. later, another email goes out. Mm -hmm. So now we're nurturing that lead. And, and, and as, as people inquire, obviously only one person is going get to the, get the property. But let's say 50 people filled out the form. One person got it. The other 49 are sitting in your email base waiting to hear from you again. Show them the next listing. Mm, okay. Right. So, so this is all happening, hap happening, automated, like literally everything from the moment you put out the, the, the actual ad that is running 24 seven while you're sleeping to the moment right. people are coming to the landing page and entering their name and email 24 seven while you're doing other things. These emails, step five, these emails are going out while Becky is out with her family having fun automated. The entire mm -hmm. thing is automated. And all I did is post once per week and ran an ad on it. That's it. 
So, so how do you create these landing pages? Are you basically paying um, for like to be have that hosted like you would a website and then it's con you're constantly creating different landing pages for all the different ones that you're doing ads and you know different listings and stuff or are you constantly changing the same one or very very good question all the above when it comes to landing pages and i know kw you guys have landing pages now right don't you guys have like some new marketing like system or tools well we do it's called command it's command, a platform command. yeah and they're still i mean it's still being worked on constantly so i'm not 100 percent sure if we okay. have landing pages but okay so here, here's where I'll end it. The only okay. two expenses that you need, obviously you have a ton of other overhead with your business and you got, you guys got to pay for all kinds of crap. But when it comes to marketing, I truly believe from my professional, honest opinion, the only two marketing ex expenses you will ever need from this point forward is your budget for Facebook ads. And number two, your landing page software. That is it, man. That is it. There's no other dollar that should be going into any other form of marketing if it's not those two things. There's nothing offline that you could possibly do at this price at all, at all, at all. There's nothing offline. And when it comes to the internet, it's all about a landing page. So I need software. So to answer your question, it, all these software programs are all third party. You got most of them run about a hundred bucks a month. Um, the one that I use is a hundred bucks a month, but I can create all these different pages for an open house. Like I have all kinds of different pages. Like I can even just transfer all these homepage, all these, you know, to you. But like if we had an open house coming up this weekend, I would run an ad on that open house, promoting it to everyone in that area. And then I would get them to click, learn more. They'd come to one page, click here to RSVP. Now that person's interested in my open house this weekend. So I can create pages for everything. But the reason why I use this one, because again, they're all about a hundred bucks a month. I pay a hundred bucks a month for the landing pages, but it also comes with my email autoresponder. Cause once that email is in, you're either going to have to use MailChimp, or, which, which I don't want to use. Cause now I got to pay for a landing page, which is hundred bucks a month. That's one software. Then I got to use MailChimp, even though it's free, it's still a second software. Now I'm juggling multiple softwares. I just need one. So this right. one that I use is for my landing pages. It's for my email autoresponder and it's for my calendar. Because as these emails go out, yes, I'm going to nurture that lead. I'm going to talk to that person about the open house. I'm going to email that person. And it's going to be all emails that are set up pre, pre, you know, um, preset. But whether it's a listing, whether it's a seller guide, whatever, those emails are going to be going out. It's going to be educating that, that lead on what the heck they opted into. But the call to action in all of those emails is to click my link. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule the time to speak. So the third mm -hmm. software is the calendar and there's many different free ones out there. But again, I got to go get a third software. So if I'm using landing pages, spending a hundred bucks a month for that, and then I got to get MailChimp and then I got to get Calendly, which is a software, which, which is free for your calendar. Those are three different services. I don't want to juggle all those services. So I just use one at the same price. It's a hundred bucks. And th that's what, I, that's all I need. Landing page, email auto autoresponder and my calendar. That's it. That's it. So Software, Facebook ad is truly, I mean, from the bottom of my heart, Becky, that's all you need, man. Like that's all you need to crush it. And you, you start running these ads directly to your local backyard. Here's what's so powerful is that as whether, whether it's going to be an image or video, as you start to run ads to your local backyard and you literally run one every week as if it was your religion. After a few ads, people start to recognize your name. And if you were doing video, that's even more, more powerful. But after a few ads, people are going to start knowing you. This is someone that lives down the street because they keep seeing you in their newsfeed. And that's why with, with these images, I would start putting out your, your face. If you're not going to do video, put out your image, put out a headshot and, and promote a seller guide. If it's a listing, obviously put the image of the listing. But if it's not, if we're going to give away a seller guide, that, that should be a snapshot of you, a headshot of you. Start branding your face. And I'm just okay. saying video is, is on a whole other planet as far as the effectiveness of it. But if you're not going to do video, that should be an image of you. So if I'm scrolling through my newsfeed and, and I'm not friends with her on Facebook, I don't like her business page, I don't even know her, but I keep seeing her face in my newsfeed every single freaking week. 
and she's, and she's not pitching me. She's just giving me something of value and she's giving me a something for free, a free seller guide. It's like, damn, after a few weeks, your face is going to be stuck in my brain. And that's what happens, man. You'll end up going out and people start recognizing you. Hey, I saw you on Facebook. It's like, damn, they don't even know you. But because you're, <laughs> you're focused on one little area and you keep throwing ads out every week, they start to know you, man. And that's powerful. You know, so I know that so, was a ton right there, Becky. You know, I know that was a ton. Hold on. Let me ask you about video. So I have done some videos, but um, let's say I did do that. How professional does it really have to be? Because Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, Becky, you got me. You got me. Okay. Okay. After I see them, normally I'll click videos, you know, 10 minutes ago, but now that I clicked it here, you're not going to convince me otherwise. You're going to do video. You can do video. When I see this, this fires me up, man. You're 99% ahead of everybody else. Like everybody else. You know, again, I've spoken to so many people, Becky, so many agents, 99% of you guys fear the camera. You're that 1%. This is all you need. No professionalism, no editing, no camera crew, no camera guy, none of that. Your cell phone, your cell phone. Hey guys, this is Becky. This is your Rip Realtor. Just wanted to come on here and give you a few tips. I know a lot of people are selling. I'm giving away a 2020 seller guide. This thing is hot off the press. It's going to give you a ton of tips on what you need to know before you sell. Click learn more. or take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. Okay. So you start taking this knowledge, man, and you start packaging it all up in two minute videos and you drop one per week. Huh. And you spend, okay. you spend the, the, the five, even, even if you went five bucks a day, that's only 35 a week. Yeah. You take a family out to freaking, I, I, well, shit, I know you're probably not eating fast food because you're super, super, you know, healthy, but even, <laughs> even if you went to any random, you know, health, like what's, what's a healthy fast food, somewhat healthy fast food? What, what, what do you want uh, to PDQ. Okay. If you took your family to PDQ, you would spend more at lunch. <laughs> You'd spend more than 35 bucks, Becky. Like you got kids. What do you got? Kids? You got, you got family? No kids, but no yes, ki just married. Okay. So just you and your husband, you guys are probably both ripped. You guys spend a lot on food. Yeah, we do. Right? Like you spend yeah. because you're buying the best of the best food, right? So that's how I know for sure you're <laughs> spending something because you ain't, you ain't buying crap. Like you're for sure spending more than 35 bucks a week on something out. Yeah. I'm telling you, that is your Facebook video ad. Okay. That's it, man. That's all you need to be doing. One video per week. That's it. And, and again, you're either promoting a listing or you're giving away a seller guide. Okay. And, and, and you're going to fill up that pipe with a ton of people who are interested in selling. And every single one of them lives a few miles away from you. Okay. That's it, man. That's it. So step three, that weekly strategy. Step four is that landing page. So yeah, there, there's software out there. I mean, I can send you a link to, to the one that I recommend. You can, there's a 14 day trial. You could play around with it, but at the same time, landing pages are only necessary when you start running Facebook ads. Like if you really, okay. if you really start yep. taking this video game to the next level and start running it every week, then, then that's when you'll need landing pages. But, okay. but right now you don't need landing pages. Um, but right now, here, here's where we should, in closing, step one, list all your links, get everything, rip realtor, rip realtor, rip realtor, match all the links. And then step two, that like count needs to go up a little higher. So yep. if you haven't ran a like ad, if you haven't ran an ad recently, you may spend way more than you need to on this. You don't need to spend too, too much. But if anything, I can easily run that ad for you. Just tell me what your budget is and all you're going to owe me is a good review. So. You got it, dude. And I would be more than happy to discuss like further <laughs> yes. down the line we, using you. Absolutely. Right. Yes, we will for sure. I'll email you, you know, for step three, step four, but you'll, I, I would love to connect with you and help you through, through that local lead capture. But what, do we have any budget right now to run a simple ad? Like what could we put towards the like ad if we just ran it for a couple weeks or whatever? So, um, what, okay, so give me a little feedback before I just throw out a number. It's I mean, just, gen generally speaking, it, you know, is it is there an average price per day that could get me to that faster? So if I spend like let's say five bucks a day, and we run it for a month, then I could reach that and not have to continue this for another month. Oh no, it's gonna be a one time. It's gonna be a one month, freaking no doubt type of thing. Like I do this stuff in my sleep. Like five dollars <laughs> a day, for example. If we ran it for a 30-day period, that would take this number to 
2000. So you'd go from 300 to 2000 and that's all you would ever need. And that's at five bucks a day. So 10 bucks a day would take it obviously a little higher. I think that's what Candy is doing. She's doing, she's doing 10 bucks a day and she's running it for a month. So she's putting 300 at that budget and I'm taking her a little over 4,000. So it's kind nah, of a few. I, I would say five bucks a day would be my limit at this moment. Yeah, that's just perfect. I'm, I'm a new agent, so I'm oh, not no, that's like- perfect. That's all you would need. That's a one-time ad. After that, every dollar goes into step three and that's running those videos. So we'll talk about that in the, in the near future. I always say go close your next escrow or, or, or whenever that yeah. budget frees up a little bit more. Cause obviously with step three, I'm going to show you how to do them yourself. So I don't want you to hire anyone. I'm going to teach you how to do them yourself. Cause they're really that simple, but even at just the budget yourself, I'm still saying, okay, at least five bucks a day, which is 35 a week. So times that by four, that's step three. So you'll need a little bit more for that. And that's something you want to run every month. So okay. when that budget opens up, then, then we'll talk about step three for sure. But right now, $5 a day, if you just threw it at that, that would take that number through the roof and that's all you would need. Okay. Okay. Let's so all I need you to do, are you on a computer or on, are you on cell I'm on an iPad right now. Can you go to your business page? Are you able to get to your business page on? On my iPad? Yeah. 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 Go to Facebook and go to your, um, go to your business page real quick. All I'm going to do is just request access to your page so I can start the ad. Oh, wait, hold on. My bad. I got to go to, give me one sec. No, take your time. And then what I'll do also later on is I will email you a video I put together because I have a ton of YouTube videos, but I'll email you a video on step one. So okay. you could just watch it. I think it's like a 12 minute, 10, 12 minute video, but it, it walks you through how to set up step one. And um, once you watch it, you'll be able to link everything and customize everything in two minutes. That's all you, you are awesome, by the way. Thank you so much. For, <laughs> you, for, you, you rock. You really do. You, and you know, right back I, at you, Becky, right back at <laughs> you, man. I appreciate you more than you so, can imagine. So do you, uh, I assume, you know, this, you do this full time though, and you probably go more extensively into to doing everything that you're telling me. I mean, this is the basics you say. So I assume yes. you get into the more nitty gritty. Here's my whole, here's my whole strategy. And, and, and this is just me being super, super transparent with you. Here's what ends up happening. I end up doing this for you, right? I end up doing this for, for an agent, whatever. I end up doing this part. And most of them, not all of them, but let's just, let's just call it 50%. One out of every two. One out of every two will come back because as I'm telling you, step five is email automation. So once I bring you into my world, you're now opting into my page because I'm going to email you a link to have you opt into my, one of my web pages. That triggers step five for me. And I have a handful of emails that are going to go out to you over the next couple of weeks, teaching you step three, teaching you step four, teaching you step five. So what ends up happening in two to three weeks from today, you're going to probably reach out and say, David, I am ready. Teach me how to do this. Or you're going to be, you're going to be that, that other person because it's one or the other. You're going to be that other person that reaches out and says, David, this stuff fires me up. I just don't have the time. I don't have the patience to do it. Can you just do it for me? So gotcha. that's when I have, that's when I have 50% come back. And then I, I end up bringing them on as monthly clients because they obviously have the budget. They know the importance. They just have no damn time to do it. And they just have me do it for them. So that's when I sure. bring them on as a monthly client and end up winning that way. So, gotcha. and then, and then I end up having everyone subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cause you'll have a hand again, I'll have a handful of emails that go out to you. And one of them is, is, is regarding subscribing to my channel. And then, and then now I make income on YouTube. So it's either, it's either I'm going to show you how to do this stuff yourself, which I, which I have a passion for, or you're going to have the budget by then. And, and you're going to just say, David, the hell with me doing it. You just do it for me. Or I end up just getting you on YouTube and you watch all my damn YouTube videos until your eyeballs fall out and YouTube sends <laughs> money for it. So <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's all good. We win. We're, we're both going to win either way. So I'm just fired up for you. Love it. Thank you. I'm, I'm logged in now. So we, okay. so all you're going to do is click on, click on, um, 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 settings. You'll see settings to the right. 
or you might have even received a notification, but I don't think you you did. You might have um, you might just have to click on settings. Do you see settings? Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm in settings. And then to the left, you'll see page roles. Yep. Okay. Click on that, and then you'll just kind of scroll down. Am I adding you as a person? Yes. All you're going to do is respond to request and you'll see inspired digital. And then I think it just walks you through and ask you for your password. Should I see something by now? Because it still just shows me as the. Admin. Yeah, you should see. You should see respond to request. You should see inspired digital. Um, maybe, right there towards the mobile. Maybe maybe that'll work. Actually, it won't be on mobile, but. Um, well, like, iPad's not showing it. I can add a person and then and then see, but it's not showing anybody requested anything. Let me. Um, let me go to my notifications. I'll see if anybody. No. Nope. Yeah. See, the iPad is a different is a different view, but um, if I, you click I would love, I would love to get on the computer, but honestly, my I don't have it at the house at the moment. No, no worries at all. You should if you so if you were able to click on page roles, you should see inspired digital towards the middle or towards the the bottom of the page if you scroll down. It, they literally, there's no scrolling to be honest. It literally just shows Becky Hayden admin, and that's it. There's nothing else on the page. It just okay. says it's not add person to a page. Okay. So I might have to wait until I get to a computer. Or what would you like me to try? Can you um can you see my screen? Come back to my screen real quick. Sure. Hold this on. is where you'll see it. So yeah, if you got to do it later on, that's totally fine. But let me know if you could see my page. I'm looking. Okay. So. You can see it now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So this is my business page and, and, and I can see it from, you know, we, I, because we're looking at it from an admin, we see what we see. We see the editing, we see the settings. Like if I'm on your page, I don't see any of that at the top. Sure. So mm -hmm. I'm here on my page. I click on settings and then I click on page roles to the left. Mm -hmm. So right here, page roles. And then if I just scroll down towards the middle, if I just scroll down, it'll say assign a new page role. It'll say page owner. And then it would say right here, it would say inspired digital. You'll see my logo and it would say respond to request. Hmm. And then you click on that and then it, and then it takes you, it takes you through. <clears throat> and then all you do is put your password and then now I can run an ad on your page. So that, that's what you'll see. So if you got to do it later, that's totally fine. Okay. Just hop on a computer later on tonight and, and once you once you once you connect that respond to request, then that's when I I can set up the ad, and then I'll I'll send you a picture of the ad. Okay. So if you gotta do that later, that's fine. And then in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll email you step one. So I'll I'll email you a video that will really kind of shorten the curve on on you setting up those links. Okay. Okay. That's step one. Yep. So all I need, just give me whatever whatever card I can use. We'll just do five dollars a day, and then I'll email you an actual confirmation of the ad. So I okay. Just need Submaster or Amex. Um, do you want that right now or are you? Oh, okay? yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, did you say Visa? Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. All right, you ready? Uh, yes. Four, two. Got it. Perfect. My, I don't know, does it ask for name or anything like that? Or you um, yes. Three, four, two, zero, three. Three, four, two, zero, three. Got it. And how long have you been having to say that address? Oh my God. For Forever? Like eight years, I guess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's I know. Hilarious. One day we'll move. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So what you're going to do, you'll get, you'll get a total of four emails from me today. So okay. email number one is going to be step one. So that'll be in the subject line, step one. And all you're going to do is click on that. It'll take you straight to my page where you just enter your name and email. And that will trigger the second email. And that second email will have the video of step one. Okay. 
Okay. And then the third email will just be a confirmation for the ad. So once I'm able to set up the ad, that's when I'll just put the budget towards it and you'll have a full, uh, you know, receipt record confirmation of it for your record or whatever. That's the third email. And then the fourth one, I'll send you an actual snapshot of the actual ad. So once it goes live, then that'll be the fourth email. I can just show you a total picture of it. And all I do is I just type in luxury homes in Florida and Facebook pulls all these beautiful images of, of houses. And I just use one of those images. Nice. That so works. I'll send you that email later on tonight, but sometime today, try to no rush. Don't, don't rush, but just sometime try to get on a computer and, yep. and, and click on settings, click on page roles and just scroll through and you should see inspired digital. Um, okay. And just respond to request. And then it will ask you for your password. And once you put your password in, that's when, that's when I'll have access to it. So you want you want to find uh, a little background about what's going on? I do, I do. So I actually I owned I'm a big oxymoron. I owned a bakery for ten years, and oh, wow. I split last year this time I was a, a gourmet cupcake shop, and so um, wow, you know I'm grateful I was able to sell it last year this time because God knows how I would be doing at this moment. But um, so I sold it last year and I've moved into real estate since then, and. <laughs> I picked it back up on the side because I, you know, now I can do it for fun or for, I should say for pleasure yes. and, you know, actually make a profit off of it without having to pay for overhead and employees and all that other crap. So, wow. uh, so my computer died and I was like, Oh shit. So like, of course, in order for me to be an efficient real estate agent, I kind of need one of those. <laughs> so I put it out there like, Hey, I would love, to, you know, I would love to be efficient for you. So I, my computer died, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's see if we can rally up some cupcake orders and I'll donate 10% of the proceeds to a charity of choice by the Amazing. person. With and so I'm like halfway there. Um, and I've got like a week left. I mean, essentially I'll keep taking orders, but I was trying to get people rallied up. So I put a month's time frame on it. And so I'm wow. just a little over 1500 bucks right now, but that's the reason I don't can't like just jump on my computer. So I've been trying to suffice <laughs> with my <laughs> iPad and my cell phone and <laughs> that's it's, it's been interesting. <laughs> wow. And it's crazy how much we can get, actually get done with just an iPad and a phone right? Yeah. Like you can almost True. get done with, almost get everything done. It's crazy. Like I have, and that's why just me laptop, cell phone. So I have laptop, cell phone, and it just, it blows my mind. Sometimes I have to pinch myself on the fact that where we're at now, virtually digital internet, it's like, damn, like I can almost be anywhere in the, in the world and do what I do. Yeah. You know, Isn't it's that, crazy, right? Yeah. It's, it's it amazing. So, so are you going to get one? Are you getting your computer back? Oh, I'm, def oh, I'm definitely going to get one. It was just that I, <laughs> so I, I praise Apple. Apple was an awesome product and I had my laptop for like 10 plus years, but uh, you know, they're like 3000 bucks. So yes, I didn't man. have for three grand laying around. They're not cheap. <laughs> they're not cheap. <laughs> no, but, but you know, it's definitely going to be on the horizon. We're almost there and I'm excited. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Well, stay in touch. Let me know. Keep me, keep me posted. Message me, email me. And just check my emails over the next week or so. Um, and that's when I'll kind of just walk you through the next few steps and, and, and jump on my YouTube channel and I'll be a message away. Absolutely. Thanks so cool. much, Dave. All right, B, you're so, so welcome. God bless and message me if you need anything. Absolutely. Have a blessed day. Awesome. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.